A motorist starts from rest at point A on a circular entrance ramp when t equals zero, increases the speed of her automobile at a constant rate and enters the highway at point B, knowing that her speed continues to increase at the same rate until it reaches 100 km per hour at point C. Determine the speed at point B and the magnitude of the total acceleration when t equals 20 seconds. All right, so that all the variables are constant, we can assume constant acceleration. And since we are moving within a curve, then the constant acceleration will be applied to A of t. In addition, we have the definition of A n and the definition of the total acceleration. So the problem starts from rest at point A, which means VA equals to zero, and the speed continues to increase until it reaches 100 km per hour at point C. And we need to divide by 3.6 to get this value in meters per second, which is 27.78 meters per second. So let's start with part A, the speed at point B. So looking at point B, we have VA equals to zero, we have the curved displacement between points A and B. And if you look at our constant acceleration equations, you will see that the third equation needs an additional unknown so we can solve for the velocity at point B, which is the tangential acceleration. And since the tangential acceleration is constant between point A and point C, and we also have VA and we have VC, and we can find the displacement between point A and point C, we can use the third equation to find A of t first, and then find the velocity at point B. So let's find the displacement between point A and point C, which is the distance between A and B, which is r times theta. Theta here is pi over 2, and r is 150. Plus 100 meters, which is from B to C, and this adds up to 335.6 meters. And then we use the third equation between C and A. So velocity of C is given, VA is equal to zero, starting from rest. And now we have the distance between C and A, so we can find the tangential acceleration, which is going to be 1.15 meters per second square. And now that we have A of T, we can find the velocity of B easily, from the third equation again, but here we have the distance from A to B, which is only pi over 2 times 150, and we use the third equation between points B and A as follows. So VB is the unknown, VA at rest is equal to 0, and SB is 235.6, and this results in V of B equals 23.27 meters per second which is 83.8 kilometers per hour. Please note here that the result makes sense. Why is that? Because VB here is less than V of C, and it is closer to the velocity of C than the velocity of A, which is equal to zero. And part B asks for the magnitude of the total acceleration when T equals 20 seconds. So here we have three possibilities. After 20 seconds, either the car will be between point A and B, or between B and C, or after point C. And since we have the initial velocity, which is at point A, and we also have the tangential acceleration, and we have the time, we can use the first equation to find the velocity after 20 seconds. And even before solving for V, we have to think about the possibilities. So what if the velocity found to be larger than V of B? This means that the car now is in a straight line. It has passed point B, okay? And this means that the acceleration is only the tangential acceleration. There is no normal component here because we have a straight line. And the other possibility if V is found to be less than the velocity at point B. 
and this means that the car is still within the curve and the normal acceleration must be applied. It's not only the tangential anymore, it is both the tangential component and the normal component. So you have to be careful about this point before continue solving the problem. So solving for V after 20 seconds, V0 is equal to zero, A of T is given, and you will find that the velocity is 23 meters per second, which is less than V at point B. And this concludes that we have to use the total acceleration equation. We have A of T, we'll find A of N, which is V square over rho, and we'll find the total acceleration, which is the square root of a t square plus a n square. And now the total acceleration is found to be 3.71 meters per second square.